video's gonna be too long because I have too many thoughts about Taylor Swift. Hello Alex, welcome to Question Tuesday, Taylor Swift edition, with real questions sanctioned by real anteaters. Wait, you like Taylor Swift? Yeah, I do really like Taylor Swift music. She's never been my favorite musical artist, but I have listened to her music for a really long time at this point. I first got into Taylor Swift in like middle school, and I remember it being a really exciting thing for me, honestly, because it was the first time I felt like I was also really into and enjoying something that a lot of my peers in middle school were, which is, you know, a super important force in the life of a middle school kid for the most part. Plus, I've just really enjoyed all the time I spent listening to her songs. Like, I'm sure I would have heard them anyway because she's kind of unavoidable, but like, I liked hearing them, so. Okay, so what's your favorite song she's done? You know I'm really bad at picking favorites, and so of course I'm going to find a way to answer this with more than one song, but I think early Taylor Swift listening phase, Sarah, absolutely loved Forever and Always from her Fearless album. I listened to it so many times. Maybe more recent Sarah or more current Sarah. If I had to pick a favorite, I'm probably going to say Breathe, also from that album, because I really find myself going back to it in a lot of ways. I don't think 13-year-old Sarah would have predicted, but like, I still really love that song and will just put it on when I need to fall asleep sometimes. I'm also going to throw in a third favorite that younger Sarah didn't get to experience at all, because it's from one of Taylor's newer albums, which is Dress from Reputation. Really different from the kind of Taylor Swift songs I was really into as a 12 and 13 year old, but I do think that's one of the coolest things about having this artist who, whose music has changed a lot over the years that I have been into for most of those years because it's really interesting to see how like the way her music has changed and the way my taste in music has changed sort of like come together and then go apart and just like fit in different interesting like puzzle piece kind of ways and like younger Sarah would be just absolutely like mind blown that this was a Taylor Swift song like part of the reason I was introduced to Taylor Swift is all of the Christian parents who were carpooling driving me and a bunch of other 11 year old girls to Wednesday night Bible camp like thought Taylor Swift was a safe thing to play from the radio and going from that reputation to her more recent songs from reputation the album and you know then on is just such a huge change and I've appreciated that change a lot and I love the story of us I'm a mess so are you a big fan of country Taylor so yeah I mean I am a big fan of both of Taylor Swift's more like unarguably country albums the first two but like as I've said I really continued to listen to and enjoy her music and in a lot of ways I like more of her more recent stuff much more than some of her earlier stuff um it's also just like more typical i think of the music i like now like i wouldn't say that i'm a huge fan of country music generally so saying that i'm a huge fan of like taylor's country era feels a little misrepresentative i know that taylor swift like herself has really embraced eras as a way to like talk about her discography and that you know the conversation around taylor swift has always really focused on the way she like defines or bends or change genres but like talking about genres is really kind of difficult for me because I've never really been great at categorizing things and I tend to think that more of like the continuity and change over time is the more interesting thing to talk about and some of that is related to genre but a lot of it isn't. What are your thoughts on Taylor Swift's new music? I do like her new music and I think her new like aesthetic that she's embraced along with it is worth thinking about. Like I know I just said that like talking about genre isn't my favorite thing with Taylor Swift, but I think she's really inviting it in an especially pointed way this time with this embrace, like, this whole new like imagery and all these associations that she wants people to have with her music that I think she's working into like her image and her advertising, but also into like the lyrics and styles of her songs. It's very deliberate and I think I kind of fall on two different sides about that even when it doesn't really feel natural I still kind of like thinking about why she's choosing to do that specifically what do you think about her surprise announcement of a second album in a single year I was super excited about this announcement I mean like 
anyone who does like her music, of course, I'm going to be interested in seeing whether I like the new music. I obviously wasn't expecting it. I do think two albums in a year is, like, kind of crazy, but then again, thinking about Ariana Grande, it's there. It's not like it's unheard of. Like, I'll take it. I'm still excited. The whole aesthetic thing is also really interesting to me because, like, I don't know, it's not like it's my aesthetic and it's not like this is my favorite music, but, like, I cannot deny that, like, this is Taylor Swift's promotional picture for this new album and, like, this is what I look like when I come home from work. Please ignore the fact that she has other people to take a picture of her and I don't, so the picture quality is much higher, but, like, I feel like we're kind of giving off the same vibes. Do you have thoughts actually on the new album? Like, did you listen to it? I did listen to the album. I made myself some soup on this Friday night. Very cozy, very domestic. And then listen to this album, which I also feel like was in some ways going for a cozy domestic vibe, but also in some surprising ways, uh, really, really not. I don't know. I do have thoughts on it. They're very scattered because I have only listened once and it was very recently. I was really surprised by how many of the al like songs on this album are not exactly breakup songs, but like definitely songs about relationships that have been strained or are like, you know, kind of falling apart. I feel like that's obviously something she's done a lot of in the past, but she's sort of like shied away from it in more recent albums. And in some ways it's like a return to form for her in that. I'm really surprised by a few different songs and like the kind of sounds and production she was going for on them. I was disappointed in the collaborations, I think, based on my first listen, but I do feel like it really, really is a partner to her other recent album, Folklore, in like some very strong ways. I didn't know how deeply she was going to actually go into that, and the answer is like all the way up, paddle to the floor. So can you pick a favorite album, or is that too hard too? I actually can pick a favorite album. I think about this when I can't fall asleep. I just do album rankings like I've told you about before, and I've decided my favorite is Fearless. Yes, I did indeed make a whole chart about the factors that go into my favorites and my full ranking of favorites. Don't have the new album on here yet. This is why I feel like I don't do well talking about the eras I like of Taylor Swift because, like, some of her country stuff, very high. Others, really easily uh, displaced by some of her recent pop music, some of her very classic pop music that I feel like people talk about loving when they talk about loving Taylor's pop music is just absolute bottom of the barrel for me with 1989, an album I have never actually made it all the way through because I got too bored to continue. But there are like four factors, I think, that really go into how I think about Taylor Swift albums anyway, maybe not all albums. The first two I think of as kind of album judging criteria. Um, one is, would I listen to this all the way through? And the other I think of as cohesion, like how well do these songs actually fit together? Are they telling a story? Is there like a particular sound or vibe or I don't know, other like wishy-washy words that I feel like go with all of the songs and really tie them all together in some way. Basically, I'm looking for common ground. And the other factors, I think, are how well do I actually like this? Um, I kind of mesh this with genre just for like, does this have musical things about it that are the kinds of things I typically like? Um, and as you can see, for a lot of Taylor Swift's music, the answer is yes. Um, and then the final thing is nostalgia. Like I've indicated, that's a really big thing for me with a lot of Taylor Swift music, and honestly that might be why some of her older music is ranked as highly as it is. Like, it's just really impossible for me to separate it from that, and that's another reason I know that my Taylor Swift opinions are a lot like widely applicable or maybe even understandable. I like charts so much. Do you have any controversial Taylor Swift opinions? Taylor Swift conspiracy theories? So I feel like having controversial opinions about Taylor Swift on the internet has been whole music blog opinion writers' careers at this point, so obviously I have nothing on them. I, I have no idea if it's controversial actually because I don't think I've ever heard anyone else talk about it. Um, but Taylor Swift has not done that many collaborations over the years. However, almost every time she collaborates with men, they get their own verse. Sometimes they get to write it. 
almost every time she collaborates with women, they just wind up being like background vocals. And I don't really like this breakdown at all. And honestly, I was mostly thinking about this because she collaborated with Haim, a band I love with a lot of female singers on her most recent album, um, the song No Body No Crime, and I feel that it is a crime that Haim did not get to like contribute more to that song. Also, she just like straight up makes one of them die in the song. Like literally one of one of the band members like, oh yep, we're we're just gonna murder her and that's that's fine. That's cool. That's okay. I don't think it's okay. What's Taylor Swift's strangest music video? I wish I knew more about her music videos to answer this question. I remember really not liking the music video for Everything Has Changed, but I think this is mostly because it's a bunch of children in this whole music video and that sort of, and I just, I don't like. What's her best music video? I do love the Blank Space music video. Doesn't everyone? What's her most overrated song? I found a Rolling Stone article that argues that Taylor Swift's third best song ever is Mirror Ball from Folklore. I actually think that's a real oddball from that album and from all of her music. And personally, I can't say that I liked it that much. What's her most underrated song? Way down at the bottom of this Rolling Stone list is The Last Time from Red. And I actually really love that song. Like, the way the chorus gets repeated is very standard, but I think works really well for what the song is about and the sound it's going for. How about a song that people like an appropriate amount? A pretty low rated song from this list is Me! Exclamation point, featuring Panic at the Disco Man. And I have to agree that that's not a good song. Really, I honestly think it was meant to be in like Trolls 4 or something and then like for whatever reason that movie did not get made but she still decided to publish the song? I don't know. Maybe that's my Taylor Swift conspiracy theory? On the flip side, Everyone Loves All Too Well from Red, and I agree that that's a great song. I find myself just like singing it in the car, even when I haven't listened to it in literal months. How do you feel about having made a whole video that's just like all of your overthinking about Taylor? Since then, I definitely have not encountered as many people who like really love Taylor Swift in the way that all of the like preteen girls I went to middle school with did, but you know, Everyone knows her music, everyone has thoughts about her, and I still think thinking about her and thinking about her music can be a really interesting way to like connect to other people and their opinions on music. I don't know, I just think it's important to appreciate good pop music, like it happens sometimes. It's worth it, you have to note it while it's here. Can you do recommendations for Taylor Swift songs? Yes, I can do recommendations. So if I'm an anteater who only really listen to some of Taylor Swift's early country stuff, including some like random unreleased songs, and then also the entire album 1989. What, like, like should I listen to Taylor Swift? I made a list of all of the songs from Taylor Swift's more recent albums or albums that it doesn't sound like you listen to that remind me a lot of some of her earlier days kind of music. Um, the one I most going to talk up is Soon You'll Get Better from Lover. Uh, it features the Dixie Chicks, who are now going by the Chicks, and it's just like a really beautiful song. Like, it has made me cry. Um, so often I think the tendency has been to focus on Taylor Swift's relationship songs because she does a lot of them, and yes, she does them well, but the songs she writes that aren't about like romantic relationships, I often think are really like quietly underrated, I guess, to go back to that last question. This one is about her relationship with her mother, and it's just really touching in a lot of genuine ways, and I think just really beautiful music-wise. I think that's enough Taylor Swift thoughts for now, because I don't want to be editing this video for literally forever, but if you ever want more in the future, or more specific thoughts about particular albums or songs or other Taylor Swift-related things, like honestly, I think so much about it. I might as well do something with those thoughts, so I would be happy to share them with you if you want. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this question Tuesday. I will resume taskmastering in a future week, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, probably also more musical enthusiasm in the coming weeks. We'll see. See you next week, Alex. Bye!